So here we have Graham. Morning, Graham. Hello. What you doing, Graham? We built out a camper van, a Boxer 2004, to go traveling through South Africa. Yeah, Come, come, let me come. I'm an artist and Graham still works part time, so we travel when we can. We've had the most amazing trip so far, local and further out. Subscribe to see more. Well, good day, people. Okay, it's uh, Graham here, and we're busy working on Jaunty today. Our Jaunty van life, a camper van. Okay, what we want to do is, if you look right at the top there, that panel there. Can you see that panel? That panel is the solar panels up there. I want to put a frame against it so that we have an awning that comes right off that at the top. And it's going to come around this way. It's going to be a 270 by the way. <laughs> if that means anything to you, it's going to have a piece that comes on the back. That pivots over there on that corner. And goes right over to there. So that will lean out this way. And also joined to it will be the, the other part of the banner that will go from there right through to here to there with a little extension so that we can open the door without getting rained on or something where the pivot will be up here There's a pivot box up there which has all of those things sticking on there I'll show you now what it looks like but yeah that's our vision that's what we're going to do and everything around here is just jaunty <laughs> Okay, I've got a whole array of junk lying here, but that's all stuff that we're going to use to show you what I'm talking about. Imagine the block is the van. Okay, so the block is the van. This is the back doors over here. So when this, oh, this is going to have banners on it all over. So as this opens, uh, that piece will go against the back. This one will go out there. I don't know if you can see this so well, man. Yeah, like that. I'm going to go down again. The other one will go there like that. And this one will come out sort of in line with that other one there. So what will happen then, I haven't done the east scale here. The, the geometry is right there, but I haven't made them the right length. Um, the banner will come off the car there um, in one piece like this and one piece there. So it's going to be an L shape and it's called a, a 270 awning. So it's 270 degrees basically. So yeah, that's what we're going to make. Got all the tools and junk here. If you, if you have a look over here, there's a lot of round tubes. This was actually a um, laundry, uh, what was it, like a laundry stand. It, it had wheels underneath it and the one bar stood sideways so that you could hang your clothes up on it but yeah i'm using that it's a lot of steel there and it's thin plates so it won't weigh too much uh, maybe i can show you now if you have a look here you can see it's very thin but it's really strong but it's very thin it's not even a millimeter it's probably about uh, 0.6, 0.7 of a mil. And I can't seem to get it to focus. But believe me, that's nice. And it's about 20, 22 millimeters diameter. So yeah, I've got a whole lot of pieces here. I can join them like this one. You can see from there to there. That's one. That's a right size length. And I mean, it's light. I can pick it up with one finger. <laughs> I think that's going to work. Where it joins you, it actually slides into each other. I'm just going to put a pop rivet on there and, and sort that out. Uh, I can't see. Oh, yes, there you go. You can have a look. Where am I? If you have a look over here, you'll see there's like a little spring in it and, it's, and it fits into another part. Um, you know, there, like that. So you can push that in there. I'm trying to get it now with one hand. Push it in there. And that's tightly. So 
instead of welding this because it's very tiny and thin I'd rather drill two holes maybe two here and two on the other side and just put pop rivets in there that should hold it I mean the bin is not very really heavy or anything it's a nice material I'll show you in a minute and of course we have a cutoff machine that's the actual plate that I'm telling you I need to cut it's 50 by 5 and it's 50 wide 5 thick and that's a long piece so I can cut 180 180 180 and tack them together and do the rest but yeah I like this design very lacquer okay I've got all my tools back out here millions okay so here we are back at the drawing board I don't know if you can make it a tail of my drawings yeah um, let me show you that's the van there this is the little awnings that we're putting on go around and that is working out the different angles for the hinges um, he has a bit of drawing of the hinge and yeah I've got colored lines all over and I've been playing nicely and the material is this stuff it's not bad it's called drip uh, I think it's a rip uh, material I can't remember it's got like little squares on it uh, I've seen a lot of um, tent people use them for awnings and that type of thing outside anyway that's what we're gonna do get off the drawing board and let's get cracking with doing something constructive right so we've got all these things cut now 180 long it's 50 by 5 by 180 I'm gonna join them in the middle here over there just weld that. Uh, I don't have fancy tools like some people but I clamp it on this table. It's a steel table and it's quite straight and I've had a look. It's not bad, it's quite straight. So I'm going to tack all this. I need three sets like this. Side, back and another side. So that's why you can see there's a whole lot of material here that I've cut to size already. Okay guys, see you later. Okay, so here we are, and we're going to start cutting these pieces. All going well. Okay, let's put that done. Now it's grinding flat, smooth, all done. Right, so here we are. I've uh, welded this edge up over here, um, all of this on both sides. And what I've done is I've actually put bolts and nuts and everything in here to kind of keep it spaced so that it's the same same um, width as what I'm going to make the these collars that go in here just so that it doesn't um, I don't have to make one bigger and one smaller they'll all work the same and it's all nice and parallel uh, I've just checked it with with this square here you can have a look over there it's the same and it's the same over there so everything seems to be working quite well and that's going to be our hinge box and the fit on the van like that cool all right so we're busy putting these uh, little bushes in that can turn uh, this is a triple one the one and that those two will be joined together this is a separate one here and this one is going to be there and another one down there that goes in these bolts here um, just giving them a bit of clearance a bit tight here when I tighten it up there's another little part that comes in here I make it a touch 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 longer so that it hooks that and then these will have clearance 
So yeah, that's how that's how this thing's gonna go. I hope you guys are enjoying this little venture I'm on. Okay, so I've spent a couple of hours already making the hinge system for the uh, the two seventy awning. It's in my hand here. Yeah? I can punch you with a do do do. <laughs> okay, that is the whole bracket and everything. Yeah. And I've just made smaller nuts. I welded nuts on and ground them, <laughs> okay. so that when the when the when the the awning opens, it doesn't hook on the nuts. Oh wow! Just to try and help them. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can see they all loose. Yeah. They all tight, but they loose because the center there's a, a bigger piece of pipe in there. Yeah. They all turn. This one and this one will only have two pipes on it to one. Mm -hmm. And this will have two pipes to one, but that will only be one pipe. Okay. Because when it's on, that's the piece that goes to the back of the van by the back door. Oh, okay. And those will go there. Yeah. And this will go there, and this will go there. So okay. it's all spread out. Okay. And they made like this so they can pack in here mm -hmm. without interfering with anything else. Okay. It was a mission because this one had to go there, wow. so it had to go much further than this one. <laughs> this is so a good. It actually stands there, so it doesn't interfere with it. Good, good engineering thing, eh? Okay. Oh, just had my little brain working all the time. Wow. <laughs> okay, well we've got a lot of stuff uh, printed here. From this uh, bracket over there to the hinges. This is a uh, uh, part of the support on the roof, and these are also supports for the roof. Yeah, I think it's going to rock. 